Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in to the Diva Hustle Show. Today our guest is DJ Coco Z. She'll be a new part of the Diva Hustle Show, so, well, Hustle Radio. So I'm glad that you're able to sit down so everyone can get a uh, you know, get an introduction to you and be able to check you out on your station, well, on your show that will be airing on Wednesday at five o'clock. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. So how long have you been DJing? What made you first get into DJing? Um, I've been DJing going on 12 years now. Okay. And I used to dance, like do hip hop, pop blocking, and I've just always been a fan of the DJ. So it made me very interested in DJing, and I kind of just started later in life. Um, and when I started, it just took off. Like I didn't expect me to be still DJing 12 years later. So, so as and so as you started getting into it, did you see? Did you overcome any obstacles? Was it difficult when you first got started? Um, no, um, I really just kind of use my education because I have a master's degree and a bachelor's degree. Um, I've always been doing arts my whole life. I started off as a dancer. Um, I messed my knee up in college and then I really started doing other aspects of entertainment like video production, uh, theater production, lighting design, choreography type stuff like that. And then once I started DJing, I just approached it like a business. Like I'm like, I got to promote myself. I got to go out and network with people. And they welcomed me with open arms. I would say the only obstacle I really face is that, you know, how they treat girls. They don't think we can do it. But mm-hmm. that's how all girls get treated in the industry. So it's like, I can show you better than I can tell you. So right. I right. just show and prove. And so what are some of the, so what are some of the things you're working up? working on in the future currently i'm working on producing like i want to make my own beats um i'm start i'm starting off with doing remixes so i'm gonna take some of my favorite songs that i like to dj with and kind of chop it up and make it a different vibe and create my own remixes so i plan on dropping my first remix this spring and i want to see how that goes and then i want to build into producing and I'm just looking to hopefully get back on the dance floor. So I've been working on my knee and seeing how that go. I want to kind of just showcase that skill with my mixes to let you kind of help me promote my DJ, uh, my DJ friend. So when you DJing, because I know like back in the day, remember they had the turntables and all of yes. that. And now the equipment and technology has advanced, right? So, I mean, some people, they just use like the Apple laptop and so how do you feel about that, being though you're from like, you know, old and then now you see the new? I'm a fan of the turntable. Like, I, I like, I'm a turntablist myself. I like scratching and cutting, but I, I also know how to read my crowd and don't do too much. It, it just depends on where you're at and what type of gig you're doing. But I DJ on everything. I just pride myself on being able to know as much as I can about DJing. I started on turntables. I started on vinyl. Taught myself how to DJ on vinyl. I still have my turntables. I won a few DJ battles, like the only female on my turntables. So, but now I have like maybe five different setups. Like I got a little mini setup all the way up to my turntables. So I just, I like it all. Like I like being able to just kind of like pull up and have my and I have my hard drive got everything on it but I also like to be able to get on my turntables and rock as well so yeah I, I think that they need to bring back you remember the movie Juice and it was yeah. a battle yo I yeah. think we need that back I'm telling you because it really will be able to filter out the good DJs and the bad DJs what do you think about I think this? so too I think so too <laughs> I, I, I want to get back on the battle scene as well because I, I got my start DJ battling and that's what really kind of catapulted Supported me as a female DJ because I won my first DJ battle and I was the only female and I won two battles in one night. I won the mix battle and I won the scratch battle and I was the only female. So it, it was like, wow, you know, but I feel like I'm still learning the craft. There's just so much more stuff that I want to learn and I want to get back on the battle scene. So I know a couple people that still host battles and DJ battles, but it just ain't heavily promoted like it used to be. Right. So I think we need to get back into that because when I get back on, I'm definitely going to promote where I'm going to be at when it comes check it out because I miss it. Like, it was just fun. I like the camaraderie and, and also the competition, like, right. where you like, okay, I can do this. Like, what can you do type vibe? So, yeah. yeah. I, I 
just bring don't, that back. I don't like when I have people like, oh, I'm a DJ, and like, okay, let me see. And then they just think a DJ is just playing a song. Like, yeah. no, we want to be able to mix the song. Yeah, exactly. Like, I like being able to blend two different songs and create a whole different sound. And I like playing with the different pitches, like, you know, dropping off the bass and just letting the acapella roll. Like, it's just so many different things you can do. And it gives you an outlet of creativity as a DJ when you can just add your own flavor to what you're doing. So I like to be able to do that. Right. So what are some DJs that you admire in the industry? I came up listening to a lot of the local DJs for real. Like, um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. So I came up listening to the Scratchmaster L, uh, DJ Blend. And I also like, like as far as industry-wise, I like um, DJ Scratch is dope, DJ Qbert. He's dope, and I also like DJ Premier. DJ okay. Premier is like yeah, he's fine. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I got to definitely shout out uh, my girl DJ Diamond Cut because she's definitely doing her thing thing as a female DJ. So I like what she's doing. I like the the avenue that she's paving for other female DJs to be able to work how she works. Yeah, DJ DJ Cut. She uh, she's from Philly. Yeah, she got it. Yeah. She, she's pretty good. Yeah, we 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 like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. So people want to get in contact with you. Where can they get in contact with you? At? How can they contact you? You can hit me up on all social media at DJ Coco Z. That's DJ C O C O Z, and my website is DJ Coco Z dot com. All right, and you guys, again, let's welcome DJ Coco Z to the family. Make sure you check her out on Wednesday at 5 o'clock for the latest drop. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. It's the hot show.